Welcome to Dahod Garden. Today we Today I'm changing my blade on my mower. It's a self-propelled all-wheel drive craftsman. So we have to do a couple of safety checks before we go ahead and change our blade. So the first thing we are checking is to make sure that there is no gas in this mower otherwise it can spill over and potentially cause a fire hazard. The second thing we want to make sure is the engine doesn't start accidentally and rotate the blade and causes any injury. So to prevent that we are going to pull the boot from the spark plug so the engine is cut off. So the boot is now disconnected from the spark plug and that should prevent the engine from starting up. Okay, so the blade is underneath this moving deck. So what we are going to do is to access the blade, we are going to tilt the mower on this side where we have the carburetor and the filter and this should provide access to the blade but before you do that make sure that you put on your gloves and sa safety goggles okay the mower is laying on its side and now we have access to the blade and so we are going to go ahead and pull this old blade out and replace with a new blade this mower takes a 22 inch blade so make sure you have the right size blade even though we cut off the engine uh, to prevent the blade from rotating due to the engine accidental startup, the blade is loose and it could still do some damage. So to prevent that, we have used a piece of 2x4 to kind of lock the blade in place while I use my wrench to pull the blade out by loosening up this bolt. All right, the old blade is out uh, and it's sheer. We have to now replace it with a new one. Uh, and as you can see, this blade is really out of balance. So just resharpening it would not do the job. So we are going to go ahead and use a new one. I'm using a Craftsman mulching blade because most of the time I mulch my grass so this is what I'm going to use and make sure that you have uh, the right kind of center hole. In this case, my mower takes a star center hole. So that is going to be critical so that you have a right fit. All right, so which side the blade should go in and which side it should face the grass. So your blade should have some sort of an indication so right we can see here is this side goes uh, toward the grass and so we have to put the blade in this way all right i put my blade in and as you can see the center is aligned with the opening now all i have to do is put the bolt in and we should be ready to go okay the bolt is in and i have tightened up the nut now the blade is nice and snug and it's not going to fall off. All we have to do is now reconnect the spark plug and gas in and it should be ready to go. Make sure that the blade is not loose at all otherwise it could be a safety concern because the blade is going to rotate at a very high speed and it could cause some serious injury if it's not tightened properly. Reconnected the spark plug boot and now the engine is connected. Also, I put some gas in. All we need to do is now pull the cord and let's see if it starts up. So how do you know when to change the blade? So as you can see, this is a cut on my grass and it's not an even cut. It rather appears like the grass has been torn up abruptly so that's one sign another sign you may kind of notice is your grass doesn't get an even and level cut that also is a sign 
that your blade is not properly balanced. So I started my mower and took it for a spin and let's see what it did. As you can see now we have a really nice and clean cut with the new blade and everything is nicely leveled which is exactly what I wanted and that should do the job. So that's why and how you change your mower blade.